Day 2A and 2B of the 2012 WSOP main event are in the books, and a number of big names emerge from the day's play with a large stack, including Sean Deeb, Eugene Kachalov, Taylor Parr, and Jason Somerville. Car Player TV asked Somerville how he is feeling going into day three. Yeah, it feels great to make it through day two. I mean, like, I'm exhausted right now. I guess uh, it's been a long day. I played a lot of pots today. Ended with about 332,000. Uh, I peaked at about 360, so I'm pretty happy, pretty close to where I, my, my peak was today. I feel like I played pretty well, you know, as I got more tired. Obviously, you don't play as good, but uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with it, and I, I think uh, I'm in a great spot to, to try to keep, you know, making a deep run of it. Somerville, who has done various forms of poker coaching in recent years, has noted an increase in the competency of the average player in the main event. Uh, certainly a lot of people do just like freak out and put a lot of money in the pot, but I think, uh, you know, people are pretty well educated these days. You can partially blame me for that, I guess. You know, like people, you know, people don't necessarily spaz. Like I, I played with a lot of players that were very weak uh, earlier on in the tournament, but you know, a lot of players are also really good. They're really intelligent. Like they, 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 they don't make the kind of glaring mistakes you would see like three years ago. Uh, obviously, there are plenty of those people in this main event, but as you go deeper, you lose those people. And, and I think by the time you get to like day four, it's hard to find guys that just have no clue. You know, I mean, it's it's you know pretty rare. I think these days. With the money bubble approaching in the coming days, we asked Somerville if he still expects the main event bubble to be a great situation to take advantage of. Well, you know, a couple years ago, if you were on the bubble, you would just raise every hand. Like, you would just raise every hand, no one would do anything, and that was just that. You know, and there are cases that that could be the case even in 2012 also, but I think it's just more more uncommon, you know. Uh, more people these days are going to combat you in some way, either three-betting or calling or doing something. It's really hard to get a table that just doesn't. They're just going to fold into the money, they're not going to play anything but aces, you know. Uh, I think it's harder to see, but it's really not impossible. Hopefully, I'll, may, I'll find a table like that in two days, you know, we'll, we'll see.